there's a very upset sister coming in and going out of the room. believe that it is right in front of my eyes so yeah this place is gorgeous one thing to note about this place here it's so cold it's like the wind is so strong so when you guys are here during the spring please wear more clothes yeah more clothes would be a superb choice see she's wearing shorts and I'm wearing crop tops bro no regrets no regrets no. For a good photo, no regrets, yeah, right? No. Yeah, I'm going to take one more shot at the Leaning Tower of Pisa and then we're gonna go... What's the next place we're gonna go already? Yeah. No idea. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'll just put it out here for your information. Basically, a very beautiful town by the sea, includes of five towns, so we're just gonna visit one of them. I think you're cute, can I hit you up on Instagram? Cause you are the only thing I'm thinking of And I can't stop it, I'm wishing you And I were talking But even if we talked, I wouldn't know what I would say My social awkwardness would just get in the way And maybe I'm a little bit shy But I'll try my best to compromise Cause oh, I think I really like how you're always staring at your feet Pictures only tell so much So I'm thinking of a message to send you But it's hard for me to tell if it's too long or not enough But talking to you is all I want And I'm trying hard to take a chance And send you the message I'm hovering over send on our way to one of the uh, five towns, it's called Bernatza. But it's so out of press, it may be. I'm scared that you might hate me, but I'll try not to mess it up. I don't wanna confess too much, I just wanna get to know a little more about my Insta crush. the best way to start cause if I'm not careful I might lay it on my heart It's actually a UNESCO heritage site so yeah there's a reason why they wanted to preserve this beautiful place because look at this absolutely stunning now it's time to get gelato gelato Start off slow, something really simple like Hey, hello, I kinda like your dimples Wait, that's so dumb, but I can't be straight I've been thinking really long and now it's getting late Oh, but even if I'm sleepy, I'm up all night Just thinking of the words I wanna say to you I'm creepy, but most of the time I fall in love It's with someone who laughs the way you do So talking to you is all I want And I'm trying hard to take a chance And send you a message I'm hovering over sent But it's so out of passage Maybe I'm scared that you might hate me But I'll try not to mess it up I don't wanna just checked into our hotel here in Genoa. All right. So what I'll do is I'll probably chill, bath. So I'll check in with you guys later. A few minutes later I just bathe and it's around at 11 We'll be heading to Portofino tomorrow Portofino is something like Cinque Terres that uh, we've been today It's gonna be by the seaside It's basically a fishing village and I'm really looking forward to it We are staying in the Tower Genoa Hotel First comment um, When we came into the room, things are a little old 
the furniture as if it's like I'm staying at my grandparents' house. Sorry to say that. The only thing that is new in this hotel is probably the toilet. But after we put all our stuff, things seems to look a little bit better i think thank god we are only staying in here one night oh my gosh although i'm on leave but i still need to check some of my work stuff that's one of the downside of being a salesperson anyway just to share with you guys that recently company had new management on board so they also did some changes honestly i'm not happy about it because they changed my incentive package which is in my honest opinion is really really ridiculous in fact i am in shock still it's just a sad thing you know that when we are underemployed in malaysia we are bound by whatever the management tells us to do this is probably the downside of being employed but being an entrepreneur has its downsides as well because i have a few friends who is actually an entrepreneur and although they don't need to report to any bosses they do have their own struggles and their own challenges so yeah, I in fact, I'm actually struggling between that right now. I don't know whether if it's being employed is a good thing or just being an entrepreneur is a good thing for me because I am not a risk taker at the moment. Anyways, I just want to get this out there and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Good night. Oh dear god, it's so heavy. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh Jesus. And I cannot believe I just get that luggage down in one hand. Santa Margherita so it's actually a Portofino coast in Italy it's basically one of the two visit places in my bucket list and I have achieved it so excited nothing like your smile in the morning following the linings on your cheeks cause baby in your absence life is boring so I'll never leave
got drunk and I told you I loved you. On a night when we stayed out to Oh, this mirror looks weird. Did I really love her? Cause I'm starting now to wonder, did I ever feel anything? But even though I gave back your things from time to time, yeah, yeah. you Thank you for sleep house. Yes, we are taking it. I don't give a shit. Memories of you. Wait, why is it so dark? Yeah, there we go. So I was saying it's nine and tomorrow it's gonna be another long day for us. I believe it's gonna be cold. No, the weather here is very unpredictable, so I'm not sure. But anyways, I'll just be prepared to wear something cozy. We'll spend a few more days in Venice, and then we'll be heading back to Malaysia after that. I guess I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Adios. is crazy too many oh my people. god When you're in Venice, uh, if you have a chance, don't forget to ride it. It costs 40 euros per person, but yeah, I think it's worth the experience.
um, right now we'll be heading back to the hotel and settle down and then maybe we'll get dinner and then um, we'll talk more later Get your fat ass in there, yeah. There's a damn kettle. Oh my god, there's a kettle. The room is a bit small. You might want to move your bag over there. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, no yeah, I know. Here. Let me show you guys the bathroom. But yeah. Bathtub? Nope. Uh, Sad. There's uh, no bathtub. But it's fine. As long as it's, it's modern and it's clean. So hey guys, just finished our dinner. It has come to the end of, of my Italy trip. One thing about this is in Italy, the people are really, really friendly. Although they don't really understand English, even some of them do not understand English at all, but they still try their best to help us. Like say, looking for the restroom, they still try their best to, you know, give us the directions to the restroom which I feel is very nice I'm so grateful to be in a country that, that actually accepts tourists the people here are so humble and they are so nice and the food definitely is so delicious it's so good one of the apple pie that I tried in um, I think it was in Santa Margarita one of the restaurants oh my god the apple pie is so good I think it's homemade it was so good that I just took a picture i forgot to record it so i'm just gonna show the picture here by the way i'm not really an apple pie person because of the cinnamon but this i actually finished the whole thing <laughs> so you can imagine how delicious it must be the sculptures the architecture the buildings the churches they are all so 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 stunning i would say they are there are actually no words to describe you know especially when i visit the duomo in florence and then the St. Peter Basilica in Vatican. When I look at the church, it was like, I was like starstruck, like for real. Basically, it's like a picture in front of my eyes. And I, I'm still having a hard time believing that I actually visited these places. The only thing that I couldn't do in Italy was go into some of the churches because that time I couldn't book the tickets in advance and then also there are too many people lining up to enter if there's a chance I definitely will be back actually I still have two more days in Venice but I don't think I will be filming that because it's not easy to juggle between my phone and my camera and it's sometimes it's tiring to be honest so yeah i'm gonna take the next two days off to spend time together with my family and then to also enjoy my time left in italy before i fly head back to kl so thank you for uh, watching my vlog uh, i hope you guys enjoy and don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one take care bye but i kind of like it should i try and hide it